have our presentation, which is going to be done by the students of the St. Joseph's Convent School, representing St. Lucia. We have amongst us our esteemed judges, so I'd just like to introduce you to them before we see the performance. We have firstly, Mr. Marvin George. Mr. Marvin George is the Dean at the School of Drama at Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. Let's give Mr. Marvin a round of applause. We also have Dr. Paloma Mohammed. She is the she is the senior lecturer in the Facility of Health Sciences at the University of Miami. Let's welcome her this evening. And lastly, we have Ms. Catherine Atkinson, who is a local writer and playwright. She has an MFA in creative writing, and one of her plays was also featured for Arts Reach. Let's give her a round of applause, please. Okay, so like I said, we are going to view our performance by St. Joseph's Convent. It is entitled Culture Shock. We are representing St. Lucia. And after the performance, there will be a segment where we will go through a question and answer section. So the audience will be given an opportunity to ask the cast and the crew questions about the production. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce to you Culture Shock by the St. Joseph's Convent students representing St. Lucia.
money to be made today. That's all you're concerned about. That's done. Ask me if I feel in bed. I almost fall. Ask Mary. She Ask me what? Shut up. <laughs> How is money the only thing on your mind when you're such a beautiful woman as I have said? You can't use beautiful and women the same sentence for Hey, Benan, shut up. Bossman and Badman. Can't even see a bullet under your own nose? Acrobats! What did I tell you about touching my wife already? Now, let's count the money. One, two, wait, wait, what? One, two. But wait, two me is free basket, three are this. Just wants to go online 
and buy Barbie dolls with white skin and long straight blonde hair. Exactly. Everyone adopting their mother culture and adopting their American culture. John, come in. Shh.
I will stab him with my stick and will burn him instead. No, no, master. Écoute him We can report. When he comes and tries to separate us for cremation, we can stand together and fight him to separate us. Boy, that's a good plan, eh? Plus, when he sees us moving and talking on our own, he'll be so scared he wouldn't dare fight us back. Exactly. So, all in? Yep. Yes.
But, Papa, he's not wrong. You lost control before we turned into dolls. I agree, Master. Oh, shut up! You think I don't know you just half our money? If we have free baskets, you taking a whole one for yourself? If we have six, you taking two? Um, um, that's one for the master. <laughs> no, <laughs> hold on with that! Shut up! Have we learned nothing? We spent years growing this group, developing our craft as masqueraders. Performing far and wide in our own country. Scaring little children so that their parents would have a way of making them not misbehave. The fact that Papa Jabo come get you will make any child stop misbehaving. Then it became about money. The love that we had for our craft dwindled, and it became the love that we had for money. We forgot the togetherness and replaced it with selfishness. We put everything behind us for our own secret desires. Arrogance, greed, jealousy, power. We are dolls, people, dolls!
are all there. So who's the manager's fee on my contract on yours? I should get 10% more than the other. 10%? Percent? Yeah, boy, 10%. All right. Okay. Yes, that's okay. What do you want to do with Sasha? What do you want to do with Papa for me? I ready. Money working each hotel, getting rid of anyone who dares to stand in my way. For sure. Epic, epic. I will never learn. I can't feel my legs. What's, What's happening? happening? I can't feel my arms. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a performance. Let us give them another round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing in front of you here the cast of the St. Joseph's Convent Secondary School representing St. Lucia in the Caribbean's Drama Festival 2019. Okay, I know that we have seen many elements of our St. Lucian culture displayed in this production this evening. And I also know that many of us here today understand that it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, discipline, time and effort to put together a production like this from the cast to the production crew. So at this point, I'm going to open up the floor to you to ask them questions about the elements of theater that you have seen, about the characters, about their costumes, their set, and also the process that they have been through to get to what we have seen 
here today. So I'm going to open the floor now. Anybody can begin? Any? Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, I can see. Okay, I can see now. Right. Hello, good evening. I must say I have thoroughly enjoyed your performance. Job well done. Now, seeing you have come, I mean, St. Joseph's Convent Drama Group, what was it like for you in preparing? Because I know this didn't happen overnight. So what was the process like for you? How did you feel? What, what did you see happening? Did you fulfill what you saw happening? How was the process for you? Okay, good night, everybody. My name is Peter Brown. Um, and to answer your question, um, it was a really tough process for us because as young students who have tried CXC next year, we had to learn to balance everything that was going on. And especially um, we had Miria Set, our original Miria Set, who was not able to continue with us. So we had to get a new Miria Set and we are very proud of her for fulfilling that role. <laughs> And the challenge, the challenges were, they were sustainable. So we basically had to go deeper into masquerade as we know the young children of our, our young St. Lucian children don't really know masquerade as the older generation would know it. So we wanted to show them that this is exactly what it is and this is exactly how it's supposed to be. And each person puts enough work into their characters so everybody did some research, everybody went deep into themselves, introspection, a lot of that, so we can all perform tonight to show you all what we have made. I wanted to find out what do you think is the most beneficial aspect of being involved in theater arts? Uh, good night, good night, I'm Shannon. Um, the most beneficial part for me play, doing theater arts, I would say, is getting to know where I'm from, what my ancestors did, how I came down to where we are today, and how it changed and how it developed pe older people and how it can, I can develop from this. I learned um, so many traditions that I didn't even know existed or I didn't know things that masquerade did. I didn't know how the moves were done properly. And doing this, I understood how this became and how what the moves meant, what the chants meant, what everything has a role to play in things. Okay, thank you. Somebody wants to take it. Oh yeah. It's hot. Hi, good night. I'm Ashley and I'm new. <laughs> so Theater arts is a very new thing for me, and I got a lot from it. It's been very beneficial. I really learned who I was, who I really was, and I had to dig deep in myself to accept myself and become someone else and not get lost in that character. So that's something I learned was control and acceptance for who I was so I could be someone else. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, that is so beautiful. And I think I just want to say that that is the wonderful thing about the arts, okay, that it allows us to express ourselves and to really find out who we are. Um, and I know that the, the cast really have to go through that um, to get to, to where they are with their characters. Hi, good night. Um, I really loved it. I love learning about different folklore. I'm not as versed in St. Lucian um, mythology though. But I am so curious to know the backstory. She looks like she already knows what I'm going to ask. <laughs> For example, um, I have a play that I did. And when I was doing research, different islands had different tales about it. And it turned out that in one island, Papa Boa was married to Jabless. But um, uh, Mama Glow was also his lover. So in the play, there was a little hint that your baby might not be for 
proper job. But I don't know if it's acrobat. So I'd love to know a little bit of the folklore behind that. Thank you. This is not my baby. <laughs> okay, well it is, but it's not. So this is Acrobat's baby, not Papa Jobs. And I don't really know how that happened, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so, um, hi, good night, my name is Denisha. Hi. Um, so in the original culture form, pi Papa Jab is married to Mary Asset, and he really dislikes acrobats because he always goes against his rules and like his commands. So in this play, we decided that it would like help strengthen that idea by making the baby acrobats. So that is why she is car now carrying acrobats' child. Well, not really, as she said. Charles <laughs> did. Oh, and um, also to add what, onto what she said, this play was not really based off the true culture form as it is, because in the play, I myself as T-Jab, T-Jabs don't really speak. In the ritual, we just followed Papa Jab around and we respond to the chants. So we tried to show a different aspect of that. So everything was different in this play. Just try to add a little tweak to the actual cultural form itself. I'm sorry, this was choking me throughout the whole play. My voice is kind of not good. Um, good night, everybody. My name is Anna, and I play Paibanan. Now, in, in our culture, Paibanans are quite stupid. I'm not going to lie. Very stupid. So, me, I am... Um, this, the Paibanan I'm playing is intelligent, rude, confrontational and very seductive. In this play, I have, I really and truly don't, I hate Mary Asset, period. Why? Because Paibanan is an actual female and she's not getting any attention or any power, but Mary Asset is and she's male. Well, she's supposed to be male, but yeah. <laughs> so with this, we added a bigger impact, a bigger factor to why Mira said and I have a lot of problems because throughout the play, we both go in at each other's throats. Yeah. Um, so these characters were divided among us uh, by our past teacher. Um, based on our like strengths and weaknesses so that we could work on them and like m become more confident individuals. So we got totally different characters per, like which did not match our, persona our personalities. So yeah, that's how the roles were divided. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Well, right at the back. Okay, you're sending me, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, they don't need the mic. <laughs> okay. Good night. My name is Zeta. The masqueraders, the backstory is like, <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but my, <laughs> my teacher, my teacher told me that there were some poor people, I don't know if I'm correct, some poor people 
who mask up themselves, mask up themselves to go around and ask for money. But as you see, it's not supposed to like be like that about the money. It's supposed to be about the culture, the experience. Yep. Hello. Okay. So the masqueraders were introduced to kind of soften up the cultural form because the tours go around scaring everyone. So since like that, since that like chases away people, the masqueraders were brought in to like add a bit of fun, add a bit of you know lightness to it, a bit of joy that the tours don't really bring to masquerade. And also what she forgot to add was what a lot of people don't know is that this cultural form was usually held around Christmas time. So masqueraders were really there to lighten it up because Christmas is a joyful time. So we, we needed them around to really lighten up the mood. Okay, thank you. Um, so we are quickly coming to the end of our question and answer session. I just want to quickly, is it possible to bring the director out on stage? I think it's important that we see this, who's behind. Okay, good night, everybody. Like I said, my name is Monica Gies. Um, I actually came into this project late. Um, I just started teaching at St. Joseph's Convent. I took over for Miss Chanel Justin, who I would, all the way in Canada, just want to say thank you. I don't think she'll see me, but, you know, <laughs> and to say thank you. Um, and to applaud her for having faith in these wonderful ladies who have worked extremely hard to get where they are now. I was lucky enough to come into a group of young ladies who had a fire, who had a passion, who wanted to make their school proud and their country proud, who understood the weight of this production and what it meant. And I want to congratulate you ladies for doing a good job, especially Ashley, like we said, our Maria set, she kind of left us and Ashley came in very late in the game and learned the lines and stayed back. She slept in the school like these, oh no, she didn't, they slept in the school. <laughs> but she came in and she, she pushed and I want to thank her and I want to thank my form fours as well who took on this challenge and thank you all for coming and I also want to thank Miss, Mrs. Lewis who wrote the play and who helped these young ladies. Like I said, I met them. I'm not sure if she wants to come and take a bow, but I, I met them and the short amount of time I was with them, I really tried to make a difference. Yeah. Yes, I just want to say thank you once again and enjoy your night. Okay, I would just like to say something as well on our behalf. 
I believe as a theater as a group, we went through a lot together as a team, and we really pushed. And for Miss to come and fulfill the role of director and taking it upon herself to really push with us and take up all the, all the things that we had wrong and try to fix it and really go all the way out with us, we would really like to say a thank you all the way from our hearts to Miss. And also to our principal, Sister Rufina, for taking on all our noise during our rehearsals and making us use the stage and props. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our question and answer segment. Um, let us just give our cast and production crew a final round of applause. And also again, I would like to say a big thank you to the San Juan North Secondary School for their cultural presentation this evening. Okay, thank you to you audience. We are, we are back here tomorrow evening, same time for a cultural presentation from Guyana. And also, we will be entertained by Antigua. Okay, so we hope to see you back here tomorrow. Once again, thank you. Good night. Have a safe drive home. <laughs>